Hello everyone, Bon UK here with another video. And today I'll be talking about the mister and the various options that you have for outputting analog signals. Uh, I've done a couple of videos on the mister before and I do have the analog I.O. board. Basically what it does is it allows you to do simultaneous outputting, a digital over HDMI and of course analog over uh, a DE15 cable. So in this case right here, I'm doing, uh, let's see, I'm doing, the mister is right there, and you can see DE15 going to a component switcher over here. So I have YPBPR, uh, and it looks fine. As you can see, I'm just doing that, uh, I think this is called the pluge test. And basically, you're just changing the colors, um, making sure your RGB is good. And this is the NTSC, so it lights up a little bit, and that's RGB full range. So... Now that I have a second mister, um, I don't have the analog I.O. I keep hearing things about how good direct video is. And basically what direct video is, is that it takes the native signal of the core and pushes out our HDMI. Uh, with the I, &I you can set up for RGBS. So basically in this case, I have HDMI going to a VGA adapter, or excuse me, going to a DE15 adapter sending out that RGBS signal. Then I have it going to my SCART switcher right there and then SCART switcher over to the RGB to comp, which is an amazing product by uh, Mike Chi, the uh, creator of the RetroTrink products. And that's a really, really great transcoder. It's a lot better than what I used to have with the uh, RetroTech. So anyone who wants a transcoder of RGB S to YPBPR, highly recommend that one. So this right here is YPBPR, and it looks sharp, it looks crisp, everything looks fine. But let's take a look at how this comes out via uh, direct video. So I'm just going to head over to my, my switch real quick. And you see a much, much punchier image. And pardon me, I'm going to use my stick for this. And it's still the same thing. You still get the colors, but they're a lot more dominant and a lot more defined. So my friend was over last night and he himself has a mister with the analog IO. And we wanted to figure out, let's do a comparison between YPBPR or using direct video. And I think it has a lot to do with that super resolution. And because of that, the colors just are so much bolder. The I.O. is supposed to be a 6-bit DAC, whereas this is probably like 8-bit. Now, I did have to make some changes in my I&I. &I. When I first got the DAC, I was getting a lot of black crush. And I found that there are options in the mister that will take it from RGB full to RGB limited. Well, I tried RGB limited 16 to 235. It didn't look great. So now I've settled on 16 to 255. It's a weird range, but apparently these these little VGA DACs, excuse me, these DE15 DACs, that's what they roll. So because of that, with direct video, you really have a much better image. I, I mean, at least on my screen, going direct video to that RGB to comp is a lot better than using the YPBPR on the mister itself. The IO board still has its uses. You get that dual output, you know, you're going to use the analog on your CRT, and then you use HDMI to your capture device. So streamers, you know, you still want to use that. But when it comes to just playing the games, there's a significant difference in quality, at least on my setup, going to the direct video. So this is just a PSA. Uh, I do want to show one thing that's ultra, also interesting about the direct video that you can't really do on the analog unless you tap into the scaler. Let's see if I can get it going here now this is where it gets a little uh, for those who are familiar with mister this right now is bizarre because this is a CRT and I'm not tapping into the scaler but I'm having that different background usually the background in the analog out is like a snowy noisy background you can't really change it unless you start putting in you know stuff in the I and I putting in a different JPEG and whatnot so I'm just going to, uh, pardon me, oh, pardon me, I'm just going to run a script, uh, we'll do the USB polling. Now, see, look, I'm seeing this on an analog signal. Check it out, look at it, it's showing up. 
Now what's interesting about it is if we shoot over to the YPBPR, which I'm still on Super Nintendo here, and let's say I try to do the same action. Sorry about that. Like I said, we get that snowy background. And let's say I try to do that script. Same script. Watch the screen. See? You actually have to fool around with the I and I to actually get those so you can see the scripting and whatnot. So that's another big difference right there is that you're able to... Now it's just rebooting itself because I ran the script. So I couldn't see it. It was running, but you couldn't see it. So now it's back to normal. That was just a reboot process for that mister. So as you can see, the direct video has a lot of advantages that they did a hell of a job. I mean, I we played some of the CPS2 games last night. We put Super Nintendo on. We were playing that Mega Man um, with the SA1 hack. It's pretty incredible that that basically takes another $30, $35 out of the mister. So if you're just looking to play on a CRT or you're just having saying, hey, I want to play on a CRT sometimes, not all the times. With Mr. being able to have these multiple I and I's and you just have that one direct video, um, you're set and you're golden. Now, there is a bit of a challenge to get the DE15, the SCART, going to whatever signal you want. Now, if you're just using a, a PVM or something that automatically accepts RGBS, you're golden. You're good. Just get that one cable. You're set. But for those here in the United States, like most consumer televisions didn't have, we, we, we knew of SCARP, but we, it just never released. So like I said, I got RGBS, I'm going to that switcher, using the RGB to comp, it's that little blue rectangle there, I've made a video on it and it's still kicking strong. And that is what's giving me the RGBS as opposed to using the IO board. So if any one of you folks have questions or comments and just are interested in saying, hey, you know what, I'd, I'd like to get a mister, what can I do to like get me going on it? Well, you're obviously going to need the mister itself. Um, you can get them right now. They have increased in price. That was one of the reasons why I went and bought a second one because I knew there was a shortage coming. They have jacked up the prices on them. Um, the RAM chip, the one I have on this one, is a 128 because this is my arcade setup I, and I you know the Neo Geo games some of them require 96 megs and then you have the CPS games CPS 2 which are requiring about 64 megs so that is my arcade setup right there and that one's just like my console so that one just has a 32 meg I might go to a 128 soon um, as soon as they finish off their they have a new revision coming out Anyway, folks, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up. I will try to help you out as best as I can. Sometimes I know I, I have a delay on responding. Uh, just, just you know, just get at me, and I'll, I'll try to help you out. I mean, I understand a lot of this Mr. stuff can be confusing. You have a wealth of forums. You have Discord. You have the Wiki. A lot of it's helpful, but a lot of it's also retreading the same ground. So, like I said, the direct video, definitely the way to go if you're just looking to use one screen at a time. Um, I don't think there's any lag. I mean, I haven't felt any. We were playing games last night. We didn't feel any. It's just a better, better signal. And I've heard the audio is better too. I don't have the equipment to do recordings and start, you know, looking at the, the waves, the sound waves and trying to say, oh, does this sound better quality? It sounded the same to me, to be honest. It's just going through an analog, through TV speakers. I didn't hear the difference. Maybe the, you out there who have very acute hearing might be able to hear a difference. I did not. But the video difference was definitely substantial. Anyway, folks, have yourself a good one. Take care.